So upsetting. Thought, thought we would be driving across the United States right now on this truck, and instead, our truck's taking its own little adventure without us. It's just incredibly frustrating because the last thing we wanted to do was to be stuck in one place for too long. But walking tight, roads say the light, and I call you. videos and it won't work out but very good that's horrible okay. it doesn't unless someone pooped in the shower <laughs> Who's pooping in showers? <laughs> Half of me was always missing, missing too. You can, but don't force yourself, okay? Don't do it for a roll, okay? Okay? Alright? But longest. You stay in your family. But when it's coming down pretty fast, you have to get away. So you can survive. So you might be wondering, like, where did the Adventures 3 go? Like, we... You know, we, we had this epic journey, this epic dream, this desire to like go out and have these adventures and travel the world full time. And we did that for like six months, like consistently. And when we started season two, we realized that we had missed months and months of, of our lives where people were asking, people were wondering. So I put together a string of questions that we were asked over the last couple months of us not producing uh, YouTube content and social media content about our lives and about our travels. So a couple of the questions that came up was as simple as where did the adventure Street go? Because the last time that we were seen was we were essentially leaving Thailand and coming back to the United States and then well then we disappeared. We didn't necessarily disappear but what happened is we got stuck. Um, we had a great adventure plan to get back uh after thailand we were you know had some plans in california we were going to be there for a little bit and then we were going to take this great adventure back across the united states again um and then our truck broke <laughs> literally our truck <laughs> broke and then it came to a point where we flew back to atlanta and we didn't have a vehicle and then we're staying in someone else's house because we had rented out all our properties because the initial goal was to get back from Thailand, do an ultra marathon, hang out with the family for a little bit, and then camp back throughout the spring and then eventually buy an RV. And then springtime hits, no truck, and then summertime hits, our other things happen, like other family emergencies, and we still didn't get our truck back. So it ended up costing us about $20,000 to get our truck back. And I had to fly from Georgia to California, pick up the truck, pick up someone else's stuff, and then t drive it all the way back and then figure out what we we're gonna do next. And this is kind of, so that's where we went. And one of my biggest mistakes when we started creating YouTube content was we would publish content Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then all of a sudden the vehicle that was taking us to go record more content literally just broke and we didn't have a backup plan. So I had no content like laid out in the future. It was all present, and then things just fell apart. In a sense, life happened, and we couldn't control anything that was going on um, around us. It was just kind of, we were left in kind of no man's land. Like, 
we weren't sure what was happening with the truck. We weren't sure what was happening with anything. Um, everything was up in the air, and we were kind of. Well, we didn't. We didn't know if we were gonna buy. We didn't know if we were gonna keep the truck. We didn't know if Nissan was gonna buy the truck back. We didn't have really any direction. And every time we got come, we got like we came to like a simple <laughs> direction of like we were where we we're gonna go. Okay, we're gonna go buy a Class C, or we're gonna buy a boat, or we're gonna buy a travel trailer, or buy a new truck and a fifth wheel. Things would drastically change and they would drastically change sometimes well most of the time for the worst like it just got worse <laughs> yes. and worse and worse and we had we had filmed some videos we had filmed some episodes of us being back in Georgia but editing those videos it just wasn't exciting because it was like there was no future for us and that sounds kind of negative but it was it was kind of a negative time of the year and it Absolutely. was kind of a low point for us yeah but so, we're back we're back and this is season two <laughs> and you might be asking like where are you guys? Are you guys in the in a 1957s like <laughs> couch cuz it's brown and reddish orange? Anyways, we bought a travel trailer. We ended up fixing our truck, driving it back to Georgia, and then we bought a 21-foot Keystone Outback 2009 travel trailer. Now we're sitting here in Mississippi recording this video. But why? So another question we got was why did we pick a travel trailer over some of these other options? Like we went and looked at a Nordhaven, a boat that literally could cruise around the world. We looked at sailboats. We looked at fifth wheels. We looked at class C's, class A's, even van life. We were thinking, hey, we can just, you know, be that family, you know, van life down by the river kind of people. But why? Everyone wants to know why? Why the travel trailer? Well, let's start with why not? Why not van life? Probably the main reason is our 100 pound German Shepherd. Well, and also you had to poop in a bucket. That's true. That's second. We but. went and looked at vans and we realized for $160,000 I can either buy a duplex that would pay us more money each month or we buy a van that depreciates and I still have to poop in a bucket. So I wasn't a big fan of that. Plus it was just, it was, it was a little too small for us, especially starting out. We had spent so much time together in a tent <laughs> that we realized that maybe we needed something a little bit bigger. Uh, why not the Nordhaven? It was really cool. We absolutely loved the actual layout of the boat. Everything looked really nice. Like we were pretty close of like wanting to pull the trigger, like really bad. We drove to to Mobile, Alabama. Looked at a Nordhaven. It was a forty foot. It was the best deal out there, and we loved it. We almost like put an offer in on it. Except there were several questions that came up, like. Where are you going to get the $400,000 to like buy it? And then where are you going to get the $40,000 to insure it and maintain it? And we just... Who's going to drive it? Who? Yeah, we. <laughs> I can't drive a 40-foot motor yacht. Um, where are we going to park it? And we know nothing about boats. So it just, we wanted to get back on the road. And I felt like that particular boat was really ideal for us, but not for our situation currently. So then we were at Class C or Travel Trailer, um, and that all kind of came down to whether we were going to get our truck back or not. Because if we were going to get our truck back, then why not grab something that's going to be towable from our truck? Um, and then if we did not get our truck back, we'd get Class C. Yeah, and we ended up getting our truck back, which our truck is a 2018 Nissan Titan with a brand new pre-owned motor with 23,000 miles on it now. <laughs> and it's got a towing capacity of about 9,000 pounds. So we knew that we could kind of grow into the truck with the towing capability. So we chose a travel trailer like this one that was an ultralight that we could move up in or we could even move down in like a teardrop or, you know, some rugged 4x4 one that I want. But it's kind of like the best of both worlds. We can move up in trailers, uh, but we can also kind of downsize and we're not restricted on the actual size of our pickup. We don't have to go spend $100,000 on a brand new diesel pickup to be able to haul whatever we might want next. Yeah. But with that being said, we're sitting in a trailer that, you know, I feel like it fits, it fits all our needs. It's got a queen size bed. It's got bunks for Chase. It's got plenty of room for diesel. It has this beautiful, uncomfortable couch that I've slept on, <laughs> which is, I don't recommend. Um, and we're excited about it. It's fun. It has been a lot of fun so far. So the next question we got was, where are we driving? Like, why aren't we 
why aren't we going back to Thailand or why aren't we going to South Korea or why aren't we going to Europe or some of these other places? Why did we pick the travel trailer? Not the travel trailer, but like why did we pick traveling the United States in a travel trailer? I think the main reason that we decided on traveling the United States in a travel trailer is our dog. We were gone for a long time and we missed Diesel. Diesel is our German Shepherd that um, we get to travel with him now. He gets to be a part of our journey. So I think it's a really cool experience to keep our family together instead of trusting other family members um, to watch our dog as we travel. Well, and it, don't get me wrong, hopping on a plane and flying to a, a, a foreign country is way easier than buying a travel trailer. <laughs> Yes. This process has taken way too long. It has cost way too much money. Like we could have, we could have lived in Bali for another six months on how much we like have spent so far, and we've only been camping for like a week and a half. That's true. But with that being said, like our dog is super important to us, and Diesel is is part of the family, and he needed to be a part of our family. Plus, the United States is a beautiful place, and has all like we enjoyed camping so much going across earlier this year that we did see ourselves ending up in a travel trailer and continuing this lifestyle of yeah. being digital nomads and creating content for for you. The next question is, our schedule used to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday for videos. What is it going to be now? I think we decided that um, we are going to release videos on Sundays. Well, it so I think our, our videos are going to be a bit longer. Um, and it's going to allow us to capture some of the better moments instead of forcing some of those YouTube videos out. There was a lot of times where we didn't really have a lot of content because I was busy producing so much. We were busy editing content that the video quality kind of went down and I didn't really like the direction I was going in because I was kind of chasing the 100 videos in like four months. And we were all on that path. I think we would I think we would have gotten there and until everything broke but I think having a consistent video once a week on Sunday afternoons is going to be good for our audience because I think people will know when to show up and it's also somewhere that you know is it's a little less strain on me mm -hmm. in the editing booth of editing the videos and putting things together and I can actually take a couple days off and not have to be constantly working 12 to 14 hour days on these videos so I think it's also going to give us time to kind of sit back and enjoy what we're doing a little bit more than trying to focus on um, pushing out these videos and that way it gives us either time for life like we get sick <laughs> it happens um, just a little bit more time in between videos to let that happen to let life ha happen so what's the direction we already told you we're in Mississippi but we started in Georgia and <laughs> As you'll see in these next couple episodes, I'm assuming you're going to recognize that um, we drove from North Georgia to South Georgia and we're heading west. So the ultimate goal is to be in California to spend Thanksgiving with some of our other family. Um, so it gives us about five, five and a half weeks to drive across the United States. And we know that we can make it. Um, and this time if our truck breaks, we'll actually bring our house so we won't be homeless again, which That's is true. a bonus. It's always a bonus. Um, yeah, so I think cruising along, and we've also been asked, uh, are your direct like are your directions broke because you're going not straight west? But uh, uh, there's reason for that, and we had some stuff to get done at in South Georgia. Is why we started going that direction, and we chose to go west a different path than we've been before. Well, it. Some of us has been that path, but like <laughs> earlier this year, we, we had to hit the storage unit, but we also wanted to start in the Southern part of Georgia. So we hit Savannah and then we cruised through Florida, Alabama and took highway 10 all the way across. One of the reasons we did that was because I had to run, I was running a marathon in death Valley, which is in the Southern part of, of California. So this time, instead of producing the same or very similar videos of capturing kind of the same unique things on the way, we decided to go south georgia and then cut across highway 10 and then up north through mississippi and louisiana and hit highway 20 which then will take us to <laughs> highway 40 through <laughs> texas 
in New Mexico, Arizona, and kind of drop us into that, that like near Las Vegas area. Yeah. And then we'll be able to go north to uh, Northern California, which is our, our end, end destination for Thanksgiving. Correct. But what's after Thanksgiving? What's, what's kind of the, what's kind of the goal? So after Thanksgiving, we are going to head north, uh, Washington area, and then hopefully we'll be able to take the Pacific, help me here. Kevin doesn't know uh, <laughs> geography very well, but yeah, we're not going to, we're not going to leap Oregon. We'll drive through Oregon. So we'll head north through California, through the center part of California, Oregon and Washington, and then head west to the Pacific Ocean which will take the Pacific Coast Highway, there we go. Uh, Highway 1, 101, all the way from Washington to where it begins, all the way back down to the southern tip of California, following the, uh, that, that, that route, which is, I think, going to be exciting. We've always, we've been on it a couple times, but not in a way like this, not in a travel trailer. So um, we're excited about it, which I feel weird calling it a travel trailer because every other travel, like RV channel, calls it a rig. Should we call it a rig? Um, I don't know. Try it. We're going to be hauling our rig. I feel like I'm, <laughs> I feel a, like I'm, not, like I'm a trucker. I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> like we got a couple bales of hay and some <laughs> yeah. cattle. Which... Anyway, so that's what's to be expected here in the next coming weeks. Uh, we've already documented a bunch of videos so far, like the Florida Caverns. We've done uh, some, some theme park type stuff. We've done some harvest hosts, and mm -hmm. we've even captured some of our disasters, like you know, me dumping, you know, logs on the ground, <laughs> um, and our trailer breaking three days into traveling with it and us thinking that maybe it would just be easier to sell it and fly to Mexico. But we're here and over there. We're in Mississippi and we're headed West. Yeah. We're here. So Bye. enjoy. It's been the worst of years. I don't even know where to begin. Fights I've lost Every single shot I've taken along Congratulations, bud. What do you say? Say thank you. 